thoughts the thoughts they accommodate where do the accommodate where do the thoughts come from the Bible shows us that thoughts can come from number one our own reasoning based on the information that we have acquired our own reasoning based on the information that we have acquired whether from our environment from what we read from what someone said from what we watched whatever it is information acquired by us then also Satan the Bible shows us that Satan can plant thoughts in our minds because thoughts have spiritual potency are you following this thoughts can be thrown to your mind thoughts information clothed with imagination or suggestions clothed in images and thoughts also can come to us as inaudible voices you hearing this God also you hearing this God also sends us thoughts so thoughts can come from us based on our own acquired information thoughts can come from Satan or his demons okay Satan or his demons and thoughts can come to us from God and his angels have you ever wondered why we were given the ability to think of all God's creation human beings have the most complicated and extensive thought process why the reason is simple. If we are to have dominion and control over the earth as we are commanded to do, we needed to have some kind of superpower, something that will be lacking in all other creations. And what is that superpower? It is our ability to think. I read this scientific journal recently that tries to explain our ability to think. And as you know, no scientist has been able to locate consciousness in the brain. Neither do they fully understand how thinking originates from the brain. But one new idea is that thinking and human consciousness originate from an area of the brain that is known as the default mode network. The brain has billions of neurons that control the activities of the body. For example, if you are walking, certain parts of your brain, when placed under an imaging scan, will redden with additional blood flow, as they say in science, will light up. When you are angry or happy or using any part of your body, the corresponding part of your brain will attract more blood and light up. In fact, there's a part of your brain that will light up just when you think about your belief in God. So in this sense, this is actually a big deal for everyone, particularly for Christians. What's interesting is that when you are thinking, several different areas of your brain will light up, not just one. That is why the areas that light up are called the default mode network. It takes a network of connections of different areas of the brain to produce the kind of sophisticated thinking that we do as humans. That is why it is exclusively reserved for God's favorite creation, human beings. Because of our ability to think, we change the world from a network of caves, forests, and deserts to world-class cities like New York, Jerusalem, Lagos, and, and Shanghai. Our ability to think obviously comes from God Almighty. But 
Satan recognizes the power in this ability. So it becomes his favorite human feature to attack constantly. Satan will attack your thinking to get to your spirit. Only a healthy thought process can produce a healthy spirit.